Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl here. Uh, today, with, again, with a product review. This is by Seagate, a 4 terabyte drive. Now, uh, this is what I'm going to be teaching here right now. A lot of people have been complaining and telling me, and also <coughs> on uh, different forums from what I see, uh, that they've been having a lot of problems installing 4 terabyte drives, 3 terabyte drives on a Windows 7 machine and a Windows 8 machine. Now, there's a reason behind that. Uh, Windows 7 natively do, does not support uh, anything over the 2 terabyte, uh, you know, drives right there. So anything that comes over that would be uh, found as like two drives. It would separate it into like two different drives, uh, even though it's, you know, in one drive. Uh, but if you want that whole total package, I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. I uh, just wanted uh, to let you know uh, there's some, you're going to need uh, software uh, to download, which is absolutely free, and it will recommend recognize uh, you know your hard drive at its full capacity now uh, Seagate has its own soft uh, software but I'm sure every hard drive has it uh, I've seen one on Western Digital and there's other ones that have it as well Samsung I think has it as well so uh, let's get to it so as you can see the drive obviously is not uh, you know being recognized right now uh, these are my other drives uh, so what you're gonna need to get is this program right here uh, called oh hold on let me get this in focus Let's see disk wizard right here okay by Seagate okay set up you download it off the Seagate site now you start it up see I already installed it you start it up hold on let me get it in focus here okay and you're gonna see it just now appearing it right okay so first off you go you have like a bunch of things so you write add new disk right there we go and then you hit next now you're gonna be given these two right here initialize MBR layout that's the normal one right but right now that's it's not 2 TB it's not 2 terabytes so you gotta go to GPT layout okay so GPT layout right here you hit the next button see a located see right here so that's a 4 terabyte drive you hit the next button then you hit the proceed button and now you're gonna see it does the whole thing it initializes okay this thing's gonna take a while uh, so you know what I'll get I'll come right back to it okay so as you can see it's finished right hit the OK successfully completed now you see it still does not show up here so now you go into here you right click sorry it's going a little slow right now I have no idea why because it's just recognizing a bunch of stuff um, plus I got a lot of crap running in the background alright so um, give me one second okay here we go so you hit storage Right now you're gonna see disk management. You double click on that. Now it's gonna take a while to load it up because it's gonna recognize all your drives here. So you see right here, they got these are all my drives. You're gonna see they're all being recognized. And then there's gonna be one here, a located. You see right here? That's the one, that's the four terabyte drive. Now you go to new simple volume, new span, new strip, new mirrored, right? You go to new simple volume. You hit the next button. You hit the next button. Again, next button. That's going to be my drive J. NTFS. Finish. And right now we got my drive. It's formatting. See, it says format right there. So it's going to do a quick format. Got to tell you though, this drive, I'm hearing noise, I don't like it. <laughs> but uh, that's because it's doing the format, but still, like, I don't like it when it does noises like that. Kind of pisses me off. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so as you can see, Drive J is open for business, and you have a full 4 terabyte drive that you can add stuff to, and va-voom, 
you got it all ready to go. So you see, that's how easy it is. It's really simple. You just need to download that program and you're good to go. This is for my music video. Very soon I'm going to be releasing it once my album is released. Stay tuned for that. But that's basically it, okay? So, uh, okay guys, so stay tuned for the next review I'm going to be doing about the Gigabyte right here. GV uh, N980G1 Gaming uh, 4G GTX 980 4 gigabyte. Uh, this card is pretty expensive as you can see. Uh, this is a newegg.com. I'm not endorsing them or anything. I just wanted to let you guys know about it. So, uh, I mean, this is pretty much it. So, you know, I'm going to be reviewing this and I'm going to be reviewing the brand new 4K monitor Asus. What is that? PB287Q. PB287Q uh, 28 inch 4K television. Anyway, so I'll see you back. Lo uh, like, subscribe, dislike. Let me know what you think. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.